welcome back to our what's in the box series this is box number five and today i'm going to be rehousing the items to improve their long-term storage so here's the box as we found it there's some tissue padding the glass there's some plastic bags but the items are not well supported which could cause crushing or other damage the id tags are not clear or even non-existent so items need to be unwrapped to identify them which is not ideal so let's get organized first i need a plan so i carefully try out different arrangements i'd like to use the same box if i can so here I am just moving things around and trying to make it all fit. Now I'm doing a weight test to see if the box feels balanced when lifted. This did not pass, so back to reorganizing. Now I'm drawing out a little schematic. I measured the items in the box and I'm solidifying my plan. Basically, I'm going to go with boxes within boxes. Time to execute my plan. Lots to measure as I make my first box. Now that I've cut that large sheet of blue board down to size, I can begin to shape the box. Beautiful, fabulous, sturdy. Now a fit test to make sure my measurements were correct. All right, let's make box number two. Rinse and repeat. The next step is to arrange the objects and add in supports as needed to prevent any unwanted movements. On to final touches. Here I'm bagging and tagging with barcodes. This tray needed some dividers and supports to keep the glass bottles stable. And we're all done. Here's where we started. And here's where we are now. We have foam blocks to keep items from sliding. The small trays with the bottles are nice and secure. 
everything is protected from being crushed, and they all have easy to read tags. Thank you for joining me in preserving the items in this box.